to another video it's me Trey and welcome to my channel so before we get started with today's video be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a video so let's go ahead and get started with today's video now in today's video um somebody wanted me to talk about this because they heard that you know the type of job occupation that I do and they wanted to know like the ins and out of my occupation so i decided to do this video so that way i can inform you guys on the ins and outs of truck driving so in today's video we're going to touch on a few things so that way you guys will know if driving trucks you know 18 wheelers is the job for you or if it isn't now many people that i've run across they always look at truck driving like oh that is just the best job to do because you get a chance to drive across the country get the chance to see things that you don't see on a daily basis you know the pay is phenomenal you get a chance to be home all the time you get great loads you know all of these companies are so good but i'm here to tell you guys that truck driving well basically from a truck driver to another or to somebody who's planning on becoming a truck driver i'm here to tell you truck driving is not what it's cracked up to be you know so in today's video what we're going to do is we're going to touch bases on a lot of things and i'll be sure to you know list them throughout the video so let's go ahead and get started with the first thing that you need to do is to do your research so if you're going to so basically let's say you're planning on like you're looking at these ads on tv or on facebook or whatever where all these truck companies they're looking for new drivers truck companies are looking for new drivers every day they're looking for ways to grow their company and what they're going to do is they are going to try their best to pull as many people as they can to drive trucks for them what i mean by do your research means you want to find the best truck company out here that is giving you the best pay, giving you the best mileage, and giving you the best home time. Those are the most important things that you need to know when you're trying to fill out for a truck company. And I'm here to tell you, there are many truck companies out here that will say and do anything to reel you in. They will sit up here and say, oh, you'll have over 3,000 miles a week. You'll be home every week or every night. The pay is so good, you'll be making $80,000 to $100,000 a year. That sounds good, doesn't it? It, it? That's what they say. They will say anything to get you, you know, to pull you in. So what you need to do is you need to do your research. You need to call some of these companies, find out what their best intentions are. You need to find out as much as you can. Now, before you get started, even driving trucks, you need to get your CDL. Now, your CDL is very easy to do. You can go to a nearby community college or college or, you know, one of these little truck driving buildings off the side of the road, and you can get your license within three to six weeks. Now, some of these truck companies out here, they will pay you. They will pay for you to go to truck driving school. But what you have to do is you're going to have to sign a contract with them, which means that once you sign a contract, you are willing to work with them for at least three to nine months or a year, depending on how long it's going to take you to work for them to pay that back. The truck company, they use trucks that either they either have a manual transmission or an automatic transmission so if you get a truck that is a manual it is basically like you driving a stick you basically driving a stick there are 10 gears that you need to learn you need to learn the timing of those gears when you're changing them and all that stuff i'm so glad that i've got over that i'm in a now the company that i drive for i drive an automatic truck trust me all you got to do is flip this switch to reverse, neutral, or drive, and you just press on that gas or the brake, whatever. Those are the easiest ones to drive, trust and believe, because those trans those manual transmissions, they will mess up on you quickly. So, like I said, you need to do your research. You need to get your C. If you're going to get your CDL, go to a truck driving school. Now, once you've gone to the truck driving school, you have to pass every last class that they give you. There, 
the if you don't know what you're doing, you will stay there until you get it. You ain't gonna be able to pass along with everybody else. And trust and believe, you got people coming in and out of church driving school like clockwork. So until you get it, you will continue to be there. So with me, I went for three weeks and I finished on my last week. And so then I started to, I was able to drive with the company. Now I did not stay with that company, even though I was on a contract, but I still quit because I didn't want to work with them for nine months. My contract was nine months. So I had to work with them for nine months in order for my loan to be paid off, but I'm paying my paying that loan back now <laughs> after all the years. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Once you've done your research, you got your CDL, you done found the best truck company out there. Now let's get into the nitty gritty behind driving trucks. Now, the first thing that I want to start with is home time. Now, what I mean by, by home time means it basically defers when you want the time when you want to be home. Now, you got some truck companies out here, and I'm going to tell you, you got some truck companies that want you, they want you to stay out over the road. That means all 48 states, depending on which company, sometimes um, you would drive for a company that only wants you to work up, you know, up in the north region, eat over in the west or in the southwest or any state that's past, you know, any, any, um, what they would say, they would say you will operate within the states east of I-35. I-35 is over in Dallas. So it's like from Dallas all the way to like Waco, Austin, like that. That's I-35 going straight on up to Oklahoma City. I-35, anything wet, anything east of I-35, that's the only place you're going to operate. With home time, like I said, they will want you to be out between two to I think the most they want you to probably be out is close to a month. For every week that you're out, that's how many days you would get out. You would get off. So basically, if you were out from Sunday through Saturday, one week, that is one day off. So say for instance, if you work for three weeks, you get three days off. Sometimes some truck companies will tell you, hey, we just want you out for three weeks and you get five days off. I mean, that sounds reasonable, but Truck driving, like I told y'all, it is not cracked up to what it is. You know, you got some people, yes, they do want to go out and see the world and travel and see this and do this and do that and make great money. But then all of a sudden, I'm here to tell you now, it gets boring after a while. I was over the road for three, I want to say three years, either three or two, like two to three years. And at first it was exhilarating. I'm promising, I promise y'all, it was so much, it was, it was so much fun to see you know part of parts of the country that i couldn't even see on a daily basis that i get a chance to see for free but after i done been everywhere you get bored you know i got real bored and i was like you know what i want to be home like i said you need to like i said do your research find out which one of these truck companies if you want to be out every every other week or every month or whatever you can do that there are companies out there that will give you that type of home time or if you want to find a truck company out here that gets you home every week or get you home every night there's some out here you just gotta find them but i'm here to tell you whoever got their cdl trust and believe they're looking for a new job every day so you gotta be quick up on your feet you gotta sign up for job postings and all type of stuff in order for you to be ahead of the game because if you're not you just gonna be messed up. You just gonna be looking for that local job and you see that local job, you try to go fill it out, guess what <laughs> is ended? I'm pretty sure this right here is what everybody wants to know. And that is the pay scale. Truck driving, it has its ups and downs. It has its ups and downs. And what I mean by that is, you, these truck companies, they make so much money. And the company that I heard that the, the truck drivers are making the most out of anybody around here. It's two companies that I've heard that is paying their drivers the most, and that is Walmart and Cisco. Some truck companies out here, they will say, now we get paid, Some most truck drivers get paid by the mile. Now what they mean is by the mile, you get paid a percent, like you get paid Per, you get a paid like cent per mile. So basically saying like you will get paid 30 cent a mile. 
you get paid 40 cent a mile or four or 50 cent a mile. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen, you know, seen on the highway on the back of some of these trucks where it'll be like, we'd be like, our drivers earn this much to equal this much. You know, basically this is how we get paid. We get paid by the mile. And if you are local, you get paid by the hour. So now you do have some truck companies, they will lie to get you in the door. They will say anything to get you in the door. Now, if you come across a truck company that sits up here and say, oh, you oh, you can make 60 cent a week. Well, yeah, you can make 60 cent a mile. Your first year, you will make over 70, $80,000. But guess what though? When you get to that truck company, your pay starts off at 40 some cent, 30 some cent. You got and you would have worked that whole entire month, and baby, you only brought home at least forty, at least forty thousand dollars. So, like I told you, that God goes back into play on doing your research because if you don't do your research, you gonna go to a company and they telling you that hey, you gonna make eighty thousand dollars a year, but you in order for you to make eighty thousand dollars, you gotta do some extra stuff. You're gonna have to stay out longer. You're gonna have to perform. You now there are some performance bonuses where your performance, where you, you know you gotta be safe. You can't have no accidents. You gotta get your fuel mileage up on your truck. You gotta um deliver on time. You gotta do all of that stuff in order to get up in that pay scale. So I'm telling you, some of these truck companies, you gotta ask them straight up front, like explain your pay scale to me, you know, and get them to actually open up and tell you, like, hey, this is hey, this you get paid this much, this how much you gonna make. If you do this and do that, this is what you're gonna get. You gotta you gotta make them explain to you everything. Try to pull it out of them because if you don't, you're going to sit up here and be looking like a fool when you go to the truck company and you're not getting paid the $80,000, you're getting paid for it. So that means there's $40,000 that you will not be getting. This pay through this truck through truck driving is not what it seems. It's not what it seems. People always kill me. People kill me when they always say, oh, you a truck driver. That means you making money. You making bukus of money. Nah, baby, I'm living on, I'm living on a salary just like you. Just how to wait, like I said, you can be working in an office. Let's say, for instance, you're working in an office. You're making $45,000 a year working in the office. Baby, I'm driving trucks and I'm making $45,000. I'm making $40, $45,000 a year too. The last thing I want to touch on are traffic violations. Now, these truck companies that are very finicky about what you have on your record, you need to have a good driving record. And what I mean is don't have no DUIs, no DWIs, no speeding tickets, no, none of that stuff, none of that. Now, some truck companies, they will let you slide with like one or two moving violations and some of them won't. Some of them will tell you, hey, you don't need to have nothing on none of your records. You need to have nothing on your driving record whatsoever. So if you get a ticket or anything, you need to make sure that that ticket is not on your record. Because if it's on your record and you try to go and apply for a job, um, trying to drive trucks, nine times out of 10, you may get it, you may not get it. It just depends on the type of truck company that you are trying to apply for and you need to look at their requirements Cause sometimes you need, sometimes you don't read the requirements, you get just applying. Next thing you know, cause these truck companies, if you don't fit up to they, to what you know to their standards, they're not gonna call you. You will not hear from them. They will tell you, you know, if you fill an application, they'll be like, we we'll, we you know we will review your um, application and everything goes good. You know, we'll give you a call. You know, we'll let you know the status of your application, man. <laughs> if you got a thing on your record, you ain't gonna hear from them. You gonna be calling them, trying to figure out they gonna sit there and lie to you. Be like, oh, oh everything was good. You know, <laughs> they gonna lie. But you don't need to have no type of traffic violations. If you got DUIs, DWIs, you might as well not even fill out. You might as well not even fill it out until it disappears off your record. If you even got a speeding ticket, um, you need to make sure that's gone too. Cause if you, cause um. If you got a speeding ticket on there, some of these truck companies, they will not, especially if you got it in your car. If you got it in your car, they don't care if you got it in your car or they got it in, you got it in your truck. You, you will not get the job. You will not get it. But you, like I said, you need to do your research, research, research. Now, in closing, all thing I want to say is truck driving is not for everybody. It, re it really isn't. I mean, truck driving, it is an easy job. It's an easy job to get, but it's a difficult job to do. Because 
driving a truck is not like driving no car, baby. I'm pre I'm like some of these people out here, they think like they like, oh, I can handle a truck. Baby, you got a vehicle that you got a, a personal vehicle that only weighs probably four or five thousand pounds. Baby, you are driving an 18 wheeler that is eighty thousand pounds. So and I'm telling you, it is very dangerous. You got to be careful in those trucks because if you're loaded, because it's like you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got 10 sets of brakes. You got 10 sets of brakes on that truck. Those brake pads are the same size as the ones on the car. Basically, what I'm going to tell you is you cannot stop that truck like this if you are loaded with those 10 brakes with those 10 brakes that truck is going to take at least a mile at least a half at least a half a mile to a mile to slow come to a complete stop if you are in rush hour traffic and you flying and you don't pay attention to that vehicle that's ahead of you and you hit them brakes that truck is either going to flip you're going to jackknife and what i mean by jackknife is your tractor which is the main part of the vehicle, your tractor is going to turn. Your trailer is going to push. That weight in the trailer is going to push your truck to the side. And this basically is like this. You go from this to this. You, that's jet knifing. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, it's, it's real dangerous. It's very dangerous. If you're going to drive trucks, you need to make sure if that's something you really want to do. Because you got to be safe. You got to be really safe out here on these roads. And especially if it's raining or if it's snowing. Please slow down. This is to all my fellow truck drivers out there. Y'all need to slow down. Y'all be up here flying down these highways. And it be wet. It be raining. It be stormy. It be windy. It be all of this. There are so many hazards to driving a truck. And this is to all my people that want to drive trucks. Y'all got to be careful too. I mean, y'all going to have to. Have had that mindset like, hey, how do I, hey, how do I speed and drive in my car and be cutting corners in my car? I can't do that in no 18 wheeler. I'm gonna have to be real cautious. If if you go into a into a turn or an exit and it says go 25, you need to go 10 or 15 in the truck. They tell you at least go 10 or 15 miles below the speed limit in a curve or on on a, on a ramp. You need to be way below the speed limit. And I'm here to tell you guys, it is not. It is not a joke and it's not fun. I don't want to, you know, keep nobody from being like, oh my goodness, well, I don't never want to drive trucks. I mean, you got some good companies, you have some bad companies. You, like I said, you just got to do your research. When you, once you do your research, you will find the right company out there that is the best, that is the best by far. It's just, they, they know what they're doing. They care about their drivers. They care about their reputation, all of that. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you, I hope I didn't scare anybody off <laughs> with this information. You know, I don't want to keep nobody from being able to drive trucks or whatever. You know, I'm just stating the facts because, like I said, truck driving is not made is not made up for what you know what it really is. So, I mean, you can still you know if you still want to drive trucks, do your research, ask all those important questions. It's just like being in a job interview when they ask you, is there something you want to ask them? You ask them any type of questions you need to ask them. But anyway, I hope, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave or on your way out or it'll be at the end of this video. Click that little button with my face on it and be sure to check out any other videos. It's be it, They'll be at the end of this video here and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.